Right, joining me now, Nigel Yeldon, respected rugby commentator and uh, journalist. <laughs> respected. <laughs> Gotta put respected in there, Nigel. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, let's focus in on then a uh, sold out. Here's hoping, fingers crossed, sold out Eden Park for the Premiership on Saturday, 6.35 p.m. kickoff between Auckland and Tasman. Uh, how do you see that match going? What, what are the matchups that you look at and go, Phew. Well, I hope, I hope it will be. Well, I mean, not even, if, you, if you can get into the game for free, do we call it a sellout or do we call it a free out? I mean, both games, both games are free to go to. How good yeah. is this? Totally. Finals of New Zealand rugby, you get to go for free? I believe Mate, that there's some great... Up, you fill them up Auckland. Yeah, I think there's some really good sponsors on board that have, that have forked out for, for High Ridge. So, I mean, just as a thank you to the sponsors and the teams themselves who've worked hard uh, this season, you should go along. You should definitely go so. along. I think that'll be cool. They're, they're obviously moving the game slightly earlier, 2 to 6.30 start on, on the Saturday night. I think it's a good, good option as well. Um, how do I see this one? Look, again, in terms of consistency, I think Auckland have been the most consistent... I think we've got the two most consistent teams over the course of the season in the final. You could argue that Bay of Plenty in the second half probably have been the best side. They won five in a row and they had really something about them and good energy, good play. Uh, they showed some real robustness, some real uh, resoluteness, fortitude, you know, coming back in a couple of occasions down early against Hawks Bay, getting the win. Um, but I think over the course of the season, they have, they have been the two most consistent teams. Um, I think Auckland will be favoured, and I think justifiably so. When you look at their losses, one point lost to North Harbour, got beaten by Wellington early on, um, when Wellington had access to all their All Blacks. And then that loss last week against Canterbury. There's nothing on that game for Auckland. They, they didn't need to even, they didn't even, have, they could have sent down the Colts squad if they wanted to. They already had home final locked in. They had some injury concerns, but, you know, so you take a, a grain of salt over that, that loss to Canterbury. You know, very good, hung tough over uh, uh, Waikato side. I just think they've got parts coming back in, having had a little bit of an injury concern. They've got parts coming back in. My concern for Auckland is consistency, and it's where I think Tasman's got the strength. It's consistency. We talk about 9-10. I think that 9-10 combo for Auckland is going to have to play a really, really good game because I think Finlay Christie and Mitch Hunt are probably the best 9-10 in the Premiership. So I would expect Rudu and, and Plummer. Plummer's got to kick a lot better. Harry's goal kicking has not been to the standard that I'm sure he would want uh, or any Auckland fans or the team would want. He's got a goal kick a whole lot better for my mind, but I just think they've got some really good experience dotted through. We talk about that mix of experience and, and youth. You get Angus Tuttleval back. You've got Scott Scrafton playing some really nice rugby at the moment. Ruru's obviously had a couple of seasons of super rugby experience, and he's starting to be more of a leader. I like so if they go with a, a Tamor Manu and um, Tanyanu Talia, their experience in that midfield as well. We know Rayasi can can absolutely finish. So I just like their blend of youth and experience that they have got. Tasman defending champions are a far more experienced side, um, but I still think that the the Auckland team have got the, the weapons. And again, they've been pretty darn good at home as well and had a game plan that were able to shut down a pretty good Tasman side during round robin as well. So I'm, I'm leaning more towards Auckland Tasman, though, I think they've got a better goal kicker. They've got a better 19 combination. And they have been there before and done it. Auckland have been here before and done it too. But you just think, okay, that, that tighter game that Tasman got the victory in, for my mind, I, I wonder, I think they realise they might have got a few lucky calls in that one for me. And I wonder whether that's going to sort of help them. But I, I lean towards Auckland at home because from week one through to this point. I think they just have been the better side in the Premiership in a similar way that Hawks Bay has been the best side from week one through to, the, through to this point in the Mitre 10 Cup Championship. But the margin is a lot less between Auckland and Tasman than what it is, in my opinion, between Hawks Bay and everyone else in the Championship. And true to form, uh, Nigel, I know you probably haven't even looked at the TAB website, but they would agree. Auckland $1.56 favourites, Tasman $2.30. Um, they're picking the between one to twelve score to be the the more likely of the yeah. two two dollars eighty for Auckland at one to twelve and Tasman one to twelve three dollars forty so 
you're on the money as per usual. Uh, anytime try scorer for a friend. Oh. And oh, I think we know, but the trouble is, I mean, if you're looking for value, look, I think Celestia Ayasi will score. I mean, what is 14 tries already? He'll probably nab another couple in, in the final, you would suggest. And then some great matchups, you think, of you know, possibility of those, the, the two sets of wings. You're looking at Talaya and Fanganuku, most likely for Tasman. Um, Ayasi has just been absolutely outstanding. I'm actually probably going to go a couple in. I'd I'll, I'll be thinking, looking at the likes of, say, uh, uh, the midfield combo I mentioned before. Either. Um, Tanielu Talia or um, Tomo Manu, maybe as any time try scorers. If you go into the forwards, oh, I reckon this could be the kind of game where maybe our old mate Angus Tarvel our manages to burrow Big over Angus. for one in close. Yes. Big Gus, maybe, that add a bit of value, maybe. Yes, that'd be awesome.